In this segment, we're going to talk about some of the characteristics of the marimba. The marimba has wood bars, generally rosewood or sometimes synthetic, and the mallets for the marimba are generally going to have a birch or a maple shaft, and the heads are going to be wrapped in yarn. Now, the marimba mallet can come in any different degree of hardness. The harder mallets, which are more typical of the higher register of the marimba, create a very bright sound, whereas the softer mallets, which work great in the low register of the marimba, create a very dark sound. This mallet, the M212, is part of the Virtuoso series and is of a medium hardness, so it works across the full range of the instrument. An important consideration when playing the marimba is that it's a much wider instrument than any of the other keyboard instruments. So if you are moving while you're playing from one register of the instrument to another register, you're going to probably need to take a step. Leaning, as we were doing with the other instruments, won't cover the full range of the instrument. The important thing about this is you need to take as few steps as possible and always keep the center of your body in front of the instrument. You don't want to turn and you don't want to take a bunch of steps and walk while you're playing. You'll need to practice this the same way you practice your playing and what you're doing with your hands. The important thing is that you don't want what you're doing with your feet to get in the way of what you're doing with your hands. So let's try moving from the low register to the high register. And notice that I can move the full range of the instrument in just one step. Another great mallet you could try is the M152. It's part of the Ensemble series. It's a much different sound because it's a latex wrapped around a rubber core. So there's a lot more articulation to the sound. The Ensemble series also has a variety of different mallets from soft to hard, and each one gets a slightly different sound. Just like with all the other keyboard percussion instruments, you want to try and choose a mallet that's appropriate for whatever situation you're in. Some mallets are very dark, very soft, and some are very hard and very bright. You just want to make sure that you're listening to the sound you're creating with the mallets that you're playing with and get a good sound at all times. <laughs> 